Jesus said, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The trick is getting to them first. Detective work either. The good guys running around in their fancy hats, always catching the bad guys in the end. That ain't detective work. Please, have a seat. Miss Smith, my name is Miles Marshall, and this is my associate, Arthur Kane, at your service. What seems to be the trouble? Mr. Marshall, the matters that I must discuss with you I prefer to discuss alone. I'm afraid that's not possible, Miss Smith. Mr. Kane here is my associate. And at one point, he's going to have to assist me. But I have the utmost confidence in Arthur. He has been with me for many years. Anything you can tell me, you can tell him. Touched, Miles. I have to get out of the country. And you want our help? That's an unusual request. That kind of operation won't come cheap. I'm prepared to pay any expense necessary. If you don't mind me asking, are you married? I don't see what that has to do with anything. You don't? Or is that just a sore subject? No, I'm not married. The only relatives that I'm in touch with are my uncle and his sons. My uncle died recently and I inherited. You have our condolences, Miss Smith, but I'm afraid we can't help you unless you tell us why you need to leave the country. I have received some death threats from my cousins. They believe they should receive my uncle's inheritance. I see, and I'm sure that we can help you. We just need a little time to tie up a few other cases. And of course, we'll need some more information from you. When exactly did you receive these threats? I received some last night. I left my house immediately and went to a hotel across town, where my cousins couldn't find me. If you don't mind me asking, what was your uncle's name? Smith. Uh, Lawrence Smith is... was my uncle. I see. Thank you, Miss Smith. I'll have my secretary draw up a standard contract, and you can come back tomorrow and sign all the documents at once. In the meantime, Arthur here will escort you to a safe house, where you can stay until we finalize your travel plans. Mr. Marshall, how long will it take? It'll be as long as it takes. Oh, and Miss Smith, I don't believe I caught your first name. Oh, it's Irene. Irene Smith. Hey, sweetheart, does the name Lawrence Smith mean anything to you? Not to me, Mr. Marshall. I had a bad feeling about Irene Smith that never did go away. It was like that kind of ache in your gut. The kind that feels like 100 Fred Astaire's tapping out a ragtime beat in your stomach. If I'd had any sense, I would have dropped the case right then and there and shut the door on Irene Smith. Good evening, gentlemen. You 
boys on your way to a wedding? <laughs> You're the Moretti boys, aren't you? We're gonna make this quick, Mr. Marshall. We wanna know who killed Luca Moretti. What's your normal salary? Eh, never mind that. We're gonna give you ten grand if you take the case. Ten grand? Yeah. Five now and five when you find the killer. We don't normally get outside help for a job like this, but the circumstances demand it. Now you just find us our man and there won't be any problems for you or your business. Well, boys, I'll take the case. Just show me to the scene of the crime. Looks like the police have already scrubbed this place pretty good. That's all right. Just let me case you, John. I'll tell you everything you need to know. You don't have to wait on me, boys. Now this seemed to be a routine case, apart from the fact that the man who was killed was the biggest crime boss who ever stepped foot across the Hudson. I sure as hell didn't want to get my name mixed up with the mob, but the ten grand spoke for itself. It was a welcome distraction from the mysterious Irene Smith. You knew Mr. Moretti? His maid. You know who shot him? Could be anyone. Lots of people had reason to. I'm Miles Marshall. I happen to be a private investigator. Do you mind if I give you a call later? Sure. Who's the woman in the veil next to the grave? That's Irene Moretti. The deceased, Luca Moretti, doesn't happen to be her uncle, does he? Who? No, her husband. Miles! Irene here? Upstairs. What about it? Just look at it. Second person down. I knew I'd seen the name somewhere before. Lauren Smith? So what? Her uncle's in the obituary? It's not her uncle. Who is it then? It doesn't matter. She saw the name and she used it. The point is, Lawrence Smith is as much her uncle as he is your sister. Her name isn't Irene Smith. It's Irene Moretti. Her husband was Luca Moretti. He was shot three nights ago. And now she wants to get out of the country. You think she did it? You think she killed him? Well, that Moretti guy was into some shady business, wasn't he? Arms trafficking, drug trafficking, bootlegging. There are at least a dozen murders that can somehow be linked to the Moretti crime family. She may not have been her husband's murderer, but she was mixed up in some serious shit, Arthur. Sounds like we should have asked for a bigger paycheck. Come in.
We know you killed your husband, Miss Moretti. The tickets will be waiting for you tomorrow at the scene of the crime. I knew I had to look deeper into the Moretti family in order to find out why this Pied Piper of ours was playing for us. I left for the Hall of Records to see if I could dig up any dirt on Irene or find out what her motive was. It wasn't that hard. Arrested for assault and battery. Age 16. No charges pressed. Luca Moretti. Arrested for hijacking and selling illicit alcohol. Age 25. Charged with hijacking, bootlegging, and soliciting illicit alcohol. Sentence. Four years. Sing Sing Penitentiary. Luca Moretti. Arrested. Domestic assault and battery. Age 41. No charges pressed. Luca Moretti, arrested, domestic assault and battery. Age 42. No charges pressed. Luca Moretti, arrested, domestic assault and battery. Age 43. No charges pressed. I now had a motive. Her alibi for that night was flimsy, and she had no witnesses. All I needed was a weapon, and that ten grand was mine. Not that I was necessarily going to give her into the hands of the mob. I'd been around the block a couple times, and I knew how they handled interference, even when it came from within. Speaking of which, it was time for me to go interfere with the Moretti's otherwise mournful afternoon. Yeah. Listen, I know you were just his maid, but... Yeah. Uh, a Mr. Moretti, I think? Yeah. They'll know who I'm talking about. Yeah. At my office. Now where are my damn cigarettes?
by the time I'd thrown them off my tracks, I was halfway to Delaware. I knew that they'd be casing my joint when I got back, so I decided that I would head for the safe house and get Arthur. I was beginning to piece it all together. After years of abuse, Irene had decided that she'd had enough. She got out of his car at the garage, and he followed. She couldn't take it, turned around, and shot him, once, right between the eyes. When I got back, Arthur told me that Miss Moretti had flown the coop. She was headed for the site of her husband's murder. What are you doing? What have you done? I'm so sorry. You knew our orders. I'm so sorry. I was lucky enough not to hear from the Morettis again for a long time. Arthur and I were unable to collect our money, but with what Irene left us in her will, we moved into a new uptown office. We never got a case like this again, and I suppose I was disappointed. Never again did I get that rush of adrenaline, and to be honest, never again did I see a woman quite like Irene Moretti. I'm not yet sure if this is a blessing or a curse, and I think I will never find out. All I know is that someday I'll get a chance to ask her why she did it. Whether in heaven or hell, I just won't know till I get there. 